Hey teens, what's up? Hope you're enjoying everything we have planned for you so far. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Now let's hear a word for our very own Youth Pastor Chandler. Yo, what's up? I'm back. Like I promised. Listen, man, it is Go Epic Wednesday. We're excited to feed you the word of God. As you can see, we are excited and we are committed to reaching you on YouTube. We call the, our YouTube page, we call our online efforts Epic Global, right? Teenagers around the world who are experiencing power in Christ, too. We believe in you and we want, to, want you to know that we see you and we want to know you and we want to get to know you more. So once again, Type in the chats right now where you're from. You might be from Columbia, Orangeburg, Florence, or one of our campuses, or you might just be connected with us, or someone shared this link. Speaking of that, here's your time right now, all right? Everyone who's watching right now, here's your opportunity to share this link. Go ahead and share it right now. I need you to share it. Share, 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 because we believe in the power of sharing, okay? We're not gonna hog this word of God. Like our middle school coordinator said, don't be a dirty friend. Share and let someone know that we're starting a new series. Yeah, we're starting a new series. Listen, tonight, I want us to reflect, first of all, on what we talked about this past season, right? We talked about what you're seeing. Come on, go ahead and type right now some things you remember from that series, what you're seeing. Go ahead, I'll give you some time. We're looking at your phone. What you're seeing, what do you remember? Come on. What do you remember about the series, what you're seeing? Let's see here. Let's see what y'all are saying on here. Go ahead and type. We're waiting on you guys. Okay. What do you remember? All right. So when I think about the series, what you're seeing, we talked about being a student of what? Focus? A student of feelings? A student of emotion? No, a student of vision. Seeing what God wants to do in your life. We said that dreams we take to God and vision comes from God. We also talk about going beyond. You remember that? Going beyond what we're seeing. Going beyond the problems. You can check all these out on our previous series on our YouTube page. We talk about blindly seeing. We talk about that blind Barnabas. We talk about how even though he could not see Jesus naturally, he saw who he was supernaturally. He called Jesus the son of David. He screamed and called out his name with high hopes. I love saying high hopes. That means, we'll blow, that means we have hope in the most high God. High hopes. That's what that means. I might teach on that. That'd be, that'd be pretty dope, wouldn't it? Go ahead, type in the chat if that'd be a dope sermon. But listen, he had high hopes and he was able to blindly see. Remember we said this earlier? We said it's better to not see with your natural eyes than to be able to not see with your supernatural eyes. We have to stay connected to what God wants to show us. And then we talked about going back to the future and we left it there. That God wants to take us back to what we were believing him in, what we were believing God in before all this crazy stuff happened. Before COVID, before the pandemic, what were you expecting God to do in your senior, senior year? So what were you expecting God to do your middle school year? What were you expecting God to do this year before all this stuff, before 2020 was started getting crazy? And we got a lot of students out there. Come on, young people, your parents too. Y'all want to cancel 2020. We get it. But God still wants to do some things with this year. And that's what faith tells us. Faith tells us it's important to believe now more than later. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen. So I don't got to see what's going to happen in November, December to believe now that God has the ability to make the next three months of my life amazing. And we're declaring through faith, not through what we see with our face. Remember what you're facing versus what you're facing. We're declaring that these next three months, Epic Global, will be a blessing to you and that young people all around the world, including you right now, Epic student, who's already connected with us, you're going to experience power in Christ in the next three months like never before. So what you're, what you're seeing was an awesome series. But tonight, I want to talk to you about something else. This month of October, we're diving into something that should hit you real good. Someone say, hit me real good, PC. Hit me real good. Hit me real good. Square, square up, man. Where you at? Where you at? Hit me real good. Hit me real good. We're talking about some good, 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 good. All right? We're talking about some good, good. And God is not just concerned about what you're seeing. We thank God for that revelation that he's given us. But he's concerned about what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. What you're wearing. What you're wearing. No, I'm not. What, oh, Adidas. Go ahead. What's your favorite brand? Type it out. Puma, Adidas. What is it? What's your favorite brand? Jordan. What's your favorite brand? What you like to wear? Come on, let me know. Let us see in the chat. What do you like to wear? Okay. 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 Come on. What you like to wear? Any old school cats out there? What you wearing? Anybody still rocking sketches? I don't know, man. Just let me know. 
What you wearing? What you wear? The point is, we, we remember clothes. We remember the brands. We remember all this stuff. But God says, I have some stuff that I care about, too. I have some stuff that I want you to wear. And this month, we're going to discover the spiritual brands. <laughs> the spiritual brands from the man that God has for us. The spiritual brands from the man that God has for us. He wants us to wear something. Someone shout what you're wearing. Come on. Someone shout what you're wearing. And I want you to type right now what you're wearing. Type what you're wearing. Media team, I know you're here, but I need you to jump in live with us too. I need you to enjoy this sermon too. Someone shout what you're wearing. What you're wearing, wearing, man. What you're wearing. What you're wearing. Tonight, I'm up here to hold you accountable because God cares about you and mine's attitude. God cares about our attitude. Uh Uh-oh. PC, come on. I thought you were going to talk about something else. Why are you starting there? God cares about our attitude. And tonight I want you to reflect on your mood lately. Uh Uh-huh, sixth grader. I want you to reflect on your mood. I want you to think about how you've been feeling. I want you to keep it 100 and ask yourself, what's really going on? Because God is about to take us to a whole nother level. Someone say a whole nother level. A whole nother level of emotional control. Everyone wants to go higher when it comes to the cool stuff. But do we want to go higher when it comes to the things God wants to convict us about? And as we connect with God's word, we find out in God's word that he's about to feed us his life for our lives. God wants us to go to another level of emotional control. Young person, what you're wearing. Tonight, God is asking us, what's your, what are you wearing? What you're wearing? So, a couple of instructions. Take notes. Share this link right now. Comment in the chat because it's about to get pretty good or pretty ugly. Because God has something to say to us about our attitudes, young person. And our moods. Our attitudes and our moods. Come on, don't lie. Type if you've been moody lately because of what's going on. But I'm going to tell you, when you shout what you're wearing, God's going to give you a full revelation of what that means. And you're going to go to another level of emotional control. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for every young person. I thank you, Lord God, that your teens begin to reflect on how they're really doing. I thank you for Epic Global, those you desire to connect with us and them connect. Uh, them to connect with us and us connect with them around the world. I thank you, Lord God, that there's spirits and power in Christ in an area of emotional control. I thank you, Lord God, that they, you, you're going to use your power, someone else's power, their ability to be a blessing to them, but we have to get our attitude right because our attitude impacts and affects our altitude. God, there's students who want to go higher in life, go higher in the season that you're calling them to, but we're allowing what's down to pull us down. We're allowing curses in this world to make us cuss. Come on, I'm praying here. We're allowing things that we should not be interested in distract us. We're out of control emotionally. But God, you want us to step into your wisdom. God, give me the power and the ability to speak to these teenagers the way you call me to speak to them in the next moments I have. And I thank you, Lord, to have full revelation that you are the God that loves us so much that we can dwell in the area of emotional control because we're wearing garments. We're wearing peace. We're wearing things that you've given us to help us with life. In Jesus' name, amen. Someone say amen. Type amen. Come on. Give God a praise right where you're at, wherever you are. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Everyone in this room right now, give God a praise right now. Hallelujah, Lord God. We just give you praise right now. All right, listen. Our serious foundation comes from Isaiah 61, 6 through 9. New Living Translation. This is what it says, young people. It says, you will be called priests of the Lord. Ministers of our God, you will feed on the treasures of the nations and boast in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy. What? Sorrow? No. Beef? Drama? No. Joy will be yours. For I, the Lord, love justice. Uh Uh-oh. Justice? We're dealing with all this injustice stuff and everyone's shouting no justice, no peace. There we see the word justice again. I hate robbery and wrong robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully reward my people for their suffering and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants. That's you, young people. Their descendants. That's you, Epic Global. Their descendants. That's you, teenager. Their descendants will be recognized. And honored among the nations, not just your school. God wants to lift you up and show the world what he did with your life. Everyone will realize that there are people the Lord has blessed. 
What blesses me so much about this scripture also falls in line with the 10th verse. And it says, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. We're going to explore the garments this month. And array me in a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. We're going to get there. This is Bible study. I just want to give you the scriptures now. Another scripture, young person, New Living, New Living Translation says this. I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord for my, of my, joy in the Lord, my God. For he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding or a bride with her jewels. I want to read that again so you can get that in your spirit. New Living Translation of Isaiah, Isaiah 61 and 10, teenager. Write that down. Homework. I want you to reflect on that. Here we go. I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord my God, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding or a bride with her jewels. God has garments for you. God has garments for you. God has already given you glory. He's already given you peace. He's already given you. So my question to you is what you're wearing because he's already given you a lot and life is trying to take it away. Thoughts are trying to take it away. Negative people, negative things, negative areas, negative seasons, negative scenarios, negative things we're watching, negative emotions are taking away what God has already put on our life. We just got to wear it. So my first point is a question for you. Have you been stripped? Come on. Have you been stripped? Have you been stripped? If everything we saw in our foundation scripture is the heart of God, then why don't we feel like that's happening all the time? Why, why don't we feel like Isaiah 61 and 10 is truly happening? Why don't we feel like we have jewelry and we're dressed in God and our souls rejoicing? Our soul, teenagers, we know this. We know this. If you've been in Epic, you know this. But just in case you don't, students, we declare that our souls are mind, our will, and our emotions. So my question to you is, have you been stripped in this area? Are you still overwhelmed with the joy in the Lord? Are you still happy? What happened to your happiness? What's going on with what's really going on? What's going on with what's really going on? Satan desires to steal, kill, and destroy. But God came that you should live abundantly and have life abundantly. John 10 and 10 says this. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy a young person. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. So Jesus comes to bring stuff. Satan comes to take stuff. I need you to catch this. So on that day when you feel down and that day when you feel like you're not in the good mood on that day, when you feel irritated on that day, when you feel like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't feel like I'm just, oh, my God, life is horrible. Know that Satan showed up to take something and know that he might already try to take it. But you have access. Someone type access. You have already have access to abundance of rewards, abundance of the rewards of salvation. Salvation wasn't just to get me to heaven. Salvation is to put stuff that's in heaven on me. So I have peace from heaven on me. I have joy from heaven on me. I have favor from heaven on me. I have warrior angels from heaven on me surrounding me. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Heaven is surrounding me. And no matter what the gates of hell try to do, they shall not prevail. Someone type shall not prevail. So this month we're going in. Come on, we're going in because God has some garments for you and Satan's trying to strip you. But the question you just ask yourself, have I been stripped? Have I been stripped? Has Satan been stealing my smile and stealing my relationship with my parents and stealing my relationship with my brother and stealing my relationship with my sister and stealing my best friends away over me being moody? Why am I having drama in every relationship that I'm in right now in my life? Could it be that I'm the problem? No, not just I'm the problem. Satan knows I'm a good problem. So he's trying to turn me into a bad problem. Satan knows I'm a good friend. So he's trying to make me a bad friend. Satan knows that I can take my relationship to the next level, but he's trying to strip me. So have you been stripped because the thief comes to steal, young person? But God comes to give what you're wearing. What you're wearing. How are you really doing? We want you to know that God cares about how you feel. You're not alone in your feelings. Secondly, you're not alone in your feelings, teenager. I know you feel like you can be alone, but it's impossible for you to be alone in your feelings. Someone in this gymnasium right now, someone right now on camera, shout, it's impossible. impossible. 
It's impossible for you to be alone in those feelings. Hebrews 4 and 15, Epic Global says this, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, teenager, just at, just as we are, yet he did not sin. The New Living Translation, young person says, this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all the same tests as we do, yet did not sin. It is virtually, spiritually, naturally, physically, chemistry, biologically, impossible, mathematically, edu- if you get it, academically, impossible for you to be alone in your feelings. God won't leave you in there by himself. He's given you garments. My question to you, young person, is what you're wearing. Have you been stripped? You're not alone in your feelings. So now let's talk about this. Satan's trying to strip relationships. He's trying to strip the attitude that God can rejoice in. He's trying to strip respect so you become disrespect. He's trying to strip away patience so you lack patience. You get it? How can you lack patience unless you already had it? (laughs) Woo! How can you lack patience unless you already had it? Satan's coming after your emotions because he knows there's three more months. And if you get in these three months, if you set root before, between now and the holidays and now and the holy days, if you get your attitude right in October, you're sitting up November. If you get your attitude right in November, you set yourself up for December. God is about to do some great things in your life. But you got to know that it's virtually, spiritually, academically, chemistry, mathematically, biologically impossible. For you to be alone in your feelings, teenagers, because God loves you that much, according to Hebrews 4 and 15. Every time you feel down, go Hebrews 4, 15. (laughs) Every time you feel sad, just say Hebrews 4, 15. Every time you feel down and no one's around you and you feel like, where's everybody else? Say Hebrews 4, 15. Hebrews 4, 15. Hebrews 4, 15. You are not by yourself because you have a high priest who knows how it feels to be in those same feelings. God knows how it feels. I want to, if you're not following me on Twitter, teenager, I just felt led in my spirit to pull up one of my tweets and I'm going to pull it up. It's not scripture, but I know this will bless you. I, I wrote this down earlier uh, sometime last week, but it's Twitter really, really just encouraged me. But I was looking, I was looking at this and let's see what, let's, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. This is what the, this is what the scripture says. Uh, this is what the, uh, my Twitter, my Twitter says. It was a, it was, it was a declaration. And this is what it, this is what it says. I want you to just be blessed by it real quick. Little sidebar. It says, I declare your strategy for today plus obedience will handle your week. That your strategy for this week plus obedience will handle your month. And your strategy for this month plus obedience will finish the year. I'm going to say it again. I declare your strategy for today plus obedience will handle your week. Your strategy for this week plus obedience will handle your month. And your strategy for this month plus obedience will will finish the year. See, Satan trying to get you in your attitude and in your emotions to stop you from making a domino impact. He knows if I get you frustrated today, I can ruin your week. He knows if I get you frustrated with this week, I can ruin your month. He knows if I get you having low hopes, low vibes and bad energy this month, I can help. I can make you not finish this year. Satan's trying to steal something. Satan's trying to steal something. Satan's trying to kill something. Satan's trying to destroy something. But wait, He can't steal unless I have. He can't kill unless I'm living. And he can't destroy unless I'm building. God's saying you are a walking dunamis. You are a walking spiritual bomb. You are a living being. I know, young person, you feel like you have nothing. I know you feel like, why is my life this important? Or why are all these things happening to me? Could it be that you are more brilliant than you know what you're wearing? See, you're looking at your natural situation, but Satan is attacking you from your spiritual situation. He sees peace. He sees you've been crowned with glory. He sees all these things. But young person, you're not alone in your feelings. It is impossible for you to be alone. And lastly, tonight, God wants to crown you. He wants to crown me. He wants to crown us. He wants to crown you with glory. 
That's why Satan's coming after your emotions. That's why he's coming after your feelings and your vibe. That's why he's trying to get your mind off because you are about to be crowned with glory. You already are crowned with glory. Everything that is hard, everything that is a push, everything that makes me feel down, the weight as you carry, the weight you carry as a teenager, as you go through life, as I go through life, as we go through strife, as we go through these relationships and all this stuff, at the end, God wants to crown me with glory. He's not, I'm not just walking through life. I'm not just walking casually. Casually, God wants to crown me with glory. Someone type, God wants to crown me with glory. Don't make me preach, 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 preach for you, epic. God wants to crown me with glory. This is not happen chance. I'm under attack intentionally. This is, I'm being attacked intentionally. Satan is strategically not wasting his time when he's trying to steal from me. He's stealing from me or trying to because I have more than what I can imagine. I am being attacked strategically. That means God's trying to crown me. He's trying to crown me in my rightful place. How do I know this? At the end, God wants to crown a young person with glory. He won't leave me like this. Come on, type right now. Encourage yourself. Encourage other teenagers who are watching this broadcast. Type, he won't leave us like this. He won't leave us in a pandemic. No, 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 no. He won't leave us like this. He won't leave us in a world like He won't leave us. God is promised even in Revelations that before everything tips off, he'll snatch his people away. God won't leave us like this. And God surely won't leave you like this. So I know you're a person, you've been in your emotions. I know it's been tough. I know the attitude's hard to keep. I know it's hard to be respectful when you're so frustrated and you're irritated and you're stressed. But hear the word of the Lord tonight. Hear what God is saying. God is saying what you're wearing. I, not how you're feeling, not how you're doing, what you're wearing. You have garments. And this month you want to hang in there, you want to join us every week on Wednesday because we're going to be breaking this down. We're going to be breaking down what garments do we have? What do I have that Satan desires? I think it's my car. It's not my car. I think it's not my relationship. It's my joy. It's, it's my peace. Come on. It's, it's, it's to put on the garment up. Oh, it's my praise for the spirit of heaviness. Isaiah 62 and 3 says this. The Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see a splendid crown in the hand of God. You will also be considered a crown of glory and splendor in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem, exceedingly beautiful in the hand of your God. You shall also be so beautiful and prosperous as to be thought of as a crown of glory and honor in the hand of the Lord, a royal, exceedingly beautiful in the hand of your God. Young person, the reason why Satan's trying to hit you with so much ugly stuff and ugly things, because your life is already so, so, so beautiful. Think about it. You're the, already the apple of his eye. You're already the head and not the tail. You're already above, not beneath. So why is Satan trying to pull you down? He can't pull you down unless you're already up. Woo! He can't bring you down if you're already going higher. He can't take you out unless you're already in. See, Satan wants you focused on his activity versus you seeing yourself from the righteous position that God has already placed you in. But tonight, you got, you understand? You're wearing something. You're wearing something. You got some swag. You got some stuff on that Satan's trying to take from you. And I'm asking you this week, here's your homework. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Fight the good fight of faith. Put on the whole armor of God. Keep your clothes on. Stop allowing Satan to strip you of your relationship with your mother and your relationship with your dad. Stop allowing the devil to put negative thoughts in your mind and you let them come out your mouth, middle schooler. Stop saying everything you think. Close your mouth and say what God says. Say what God said and say what God say ain't. And if you do that, young person, you'll be more blessed than you could ever imagine. Let me pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for every young person who's listening. I thank you for every young person who's reflecting on their emotions, their attitude, and they realize that they need to be considering what they're wearing, what you're wearing. They realize that Satan's after, the, he's trying to steal, kill, and destroy something, but he can't steal unless we already have. He can't kill unless I'm already living. And he can't destroy unless I'm already building. So they got to keep going, God. And I stretch my hands towards them. And I declare that tonight they experience your peace that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I'll be right back with you. Come on, give God praise for you. I'll be back. Amen, amen, amen. Well, I'm back with you here. Listen, Epic Global, we are thankful that you have connected with us on YouTube. We want you to go ahead and hit subscribe. It's so important so you can get alerted 
every time we go live, every time we have a premiere, every time we have a post, every time we want to say something that God's already saying. Once again, God is challenging us this month to look at what we're wearing. Satan's after something. And I hope that prayer earlier blessed you, especially for students who you've been feeling down. It's because you're already up. You've been feeling like life has been taking you out because God's trying to take you in or has already taken you in. Now, tonight, everything we said applied to believers. I'm going to say it again. Believers. These are students around the world, students like you who are already experiencing power in Christ. It's more like discipleship, like a word for those who are already connected. But listen, you may not have known what we're talking about, but you felt your spirit, man. You felt the inside of you. You felt your heart, young person, say, I want that lifestyle. I want hope. I want what they're talking about. Now, if you felt that way, that was God. That was God drawing you. The Bible says no one can come to me unless the Father draws him. And no one can come to the Father unless the Son draws him. Now listen, tonight is the night to make a decision. This world is getting crazier, young person. It's getting crazier. And guess what? No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. That's why Jesus Christ died for our sins. So that when we make mistakes that push us into sin, when we develop habits and addictions in life because the world's crazy like that, we can plead the blood of Jesus over those things and remain in our righteous place in the Lord and put on the righteousness of God in Christ. And young person, this world is ugly. For you to go through it thinking you can be perfect by yourself, you ain't going to get nowhere. So tonight, if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, the only way to the Father, you're going to have to place your faith and trust in him. Now, you already have hope. You already have faith. You already have trust. But tonight, we're going to ask you to place it in him, the one. I have a message called All for the One, All Things for God, All Things for Jesus. But tonight, you're going to repeat that to me in a little bit for those who are called. But if tonight you realize, man, I want to be saved. I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I want you to do the raise your hand, raise your hand emoji. Or I want you to type right now in the chat, me. That's me. That's me. That's me. All right. Give you some time. We thank God for y'all so much. We thank God for you joining us tonight. Listen, I'm about to get ready to pray. For some of those, some of us who watched the broadcast earlier, uh, you can also make sure you leave an offering towards the end of this broadcast. There'll be some information for that. Those who are giving or connecting, you want to keep us doing the work of the Lord. You can bless us through a financial effort as well by giving. But enough of that right now. Let's get ready for salvation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to receive Jesus Christ? This is what it's all about. This is why we pay for the lights. This is why we pay for the cannon. This is why we have the DSLRs. This is why we're able to put the green screen up with this cool background behind me. We have all this because of people who are generous to sow financial seeds so that we can reap spiritual harvest for the Lord. All right? Because it takes work to get it working. And we want you to be a part of that both financially as well as with your faith right now by receiving Jesus. Is that you? Is that you, young person? Come on. If it is you, repeat it to me. Here we go. Lord Jesus... I believe you died on the cross for me, my imperfections, my mistakes, my sins. You died for that. Father, I want a relationship with you. I choose to make your son, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, right now. Amen. If you said that, woo, you are experiencing power in Christ. You are part of the God's family. And now guess what? Romans 8 and 23 is your homework. God's about to work all things together. The good, the bad, the ugly, the average, the above, the below. All things together for the good of those who love God. And tonight you declare your love for God. So you're part of the family of God. And watch out because things are about to get amazing for you. New things are going to happen for you. Now Satan's going to try to take it, but he can't take your salvation. So he'll tamper with your emotions. But guess what? You'll join us next week and you'll be blessed with more ammo on how to clap back at the devil. Thank you so much for joining. Listen, Epic Global, we love you. Our youth workers love you. Parents, thank you for believing in us and allowing your teenager to watch this broadcast. And for you, young person who said that prayer, you are saved. And, nothing, and nobody can take that away from you. Be blessed. Listen, repeat after me. Let's say this together. Are you ready? Don't repeat after me. Let's say this together. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. I am the teenager. Come on. Who the Lord has blessed? And all will see us in our turn upness. I love y'all so much. Come on, listen, join us here next week. Connect with us on social media. And listen, go be blessed. And remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Peace. Love y'all so much. Peace.